What up? What's up, everybody? Richard Jared Cosmic Wonder jumping on giving everybody the big what's up. Hope everybody's doing awesome. Having an awesome uh, weekend. Spending time with your loved ones, friends, family. Just make it happen. Or take a little time to be with yourself and love yourself. Do some inner exploration, psychonaut stuff. We're living in that day and age where we could attain so much understanding, so it's only uh, it's only right. So if you get a chance, jump on, click on links, team up, and uh, start building that better better community than the one you might already be in or around. And if you're not, hold on tight. Good stuff's coming. So we're trying to make those things happen. And now with the internet, e-commerce, um, business rock stars, I don't know. Awesome stuff's happening. So look for those individuals that are making those moves and taking the power back um, and team up. But I uh, always like to jump on and uh, talk about some awesome stuff, amazing things, drop off an author and a writer that we have access to. Um, so if you get a chance, jump on your Kindles and look up Madame Blavatsky through the jungles and caves of Hindustan. It's absolutely free. I've talked about it before, and her uh, she's wrote 32 volumes. Isis Unveiled, Secret Doctrine. But this one is through the jungles and caves of Hindustan, and in Kindle, it's under it's a free it's a freebie. But you can get all her works for like 99 cents. If you go on uh, YouTube, they're absolutely free. Audiobooks, you know, and a lot about her. So, and all these authors, always look them up too. They all have amazing stories because most of them are writing in some very hard times, um, crazy times, and the opportunities were few and far between as they are many today. So, uh, like I said, we always got to take advantage of that knowledge and power and the power of what's going on today, this day and age. But anyway, um, check her out. She knew a lot through the caves and jungles of Hindustan. She witnessed a lot of uh, amazing things that these uh, rishis, or fakirs is what they called them, but they were like people that really understood the elemental forces and how to mend those things and, and uh, use those things um, all the way down to what we now call as quantum physics and breaking down atoms, electrons, protons, neutrons, and simply vanishing and reappearing. And uh, when you read these works and you understand what she's talking about, you can see these things are possible, they have occurred and they do occur. And, uh, and you have that ability to do it within yourself. And then it doesn't take billion dollar laboratories that which we have and now we're complying and saying, you know, if you study mainstream science today, especially quantum physics, they, uh, they understand these things. Not only in the breaking down of atoms, electrons, protons, neutrons, but it's also into the, uh, the movement of them and the speed of light and the parallel universes and multi-dimensions and entities that exist within these realms of consciousness, which the human mind and the vessel can obtain all of them. But we uh, seem to be all operating on, you know, mainly most of us uh, operate on the, and only know of, and what is encouraged by the uh, movers and shakers is the third dimension. So crazy talk, guys, but when you uh, start digging into some of these ancient writers, some of these uh, writers writing in the 1800, like herself, she understood these things way ahead of her time, way ahead of most people today. Uh, but the thing is now we can actually see it in some validations and uh, vindications where, you know, they were right. And in and, and the works that she refers to, those people were uh, vindicated today and they were burned at the stake by Giordano Bruno and Paracelsus and Pico with his 900 thesis, they poisoned him. When it's synchronicity, which Carl Jung, which is the most uh, highest credentialed psychoanalysis of our times. Many books too, check them out. Carl Jung, Paracelsus, Trudano Bruno. She, uh, she refers to all of them in her time, but we have access to all of them with a click of a button, which takes a matter of seconds. So we have uh, an upper hand than any historian that's ever lived. Let's take advantage, guys.
jump on, become the master historian and understand and take power of the knowledge in the, of the self, which cultivates in all these writers. They knew that. But uh, they give you cues and hints and they cue you in on things. So uh, dig, guys, you unlock mysteries within yourself because uh, DNA, the memory bank of eternity, is within you. So amazing things, guys, going on. Check your ticket out. Hit me up. If not, I'll be back at you. One love. What's wrong, buddy? <laughs>